Hello everybody, welcome back to another video and in today's video we are going to be doing another update of Washington Reagan National Airport. We have a pretty regular update today so with that being said we're going to get started as we usually do down here in the American Eagle section. Starting off here we have this American Eagle Embraer E175. Uh, this aircraft has just arrived in from Boston, Massachusetts and it's going to be heading out to Columbus in Ohio. Next up here we have this American Eagle CRJ-200. This aircraft has arrived in from Pensacola in Florida and it's going to be heading out to Lansing in Michigan. Um, American Eagle are now operating the CRJ 200s. They initially retired them in 2020, uh, but they brought them back into service as the um, as the demand for passenger travel increased after the pandemic. Um, they don't really fly into Washington Reagan that much, but because we're lacking on American Eagle aircraft, I decided to add this aircraft into today's update. And next up here, another aircraft that doesn't really fly into Washington Reagan. We have this American Eagle Embraer ERJ 145. Again, these do operate still for American Eagle, just not much into Washington Reagan. But this aircraft has arrived in from Asheville in North Carolina and it's going to be heading out to Manchester in New Hampshire. After that, here we have this American Eagle CIG-700. This aircraft has arrived in from Cleveland in Ohio and it's going to be heading out to Albany in New York. Next up here we have this American Eagle Embraer E-175. This aircraft has just arrived in from Wilmington in North Carolina and it's going to be heading out to Tulsa in Oklahoma. And last but not least here for American Eagle, here we have this CIG-700. 700. This aircraft has arrived in from Raleigh, Durham in North Carolina and it's going to be heading out to Bangor in Maine. Next up, moving on to the main lines, here we have this American Airbus A320. This aircraft has arrived in from Charlotte in North Carolina and it's going to be heading out to Boston in Massachusetts. It would be great to get some releases of the American A319 and A320 from NG. This is the older Gemini Jets uh, mold of the A320 and it's not amazing. I mean, the mold itself isn't bad, it's just primarily the color. They didn't really get the color on the American um, aircraft right for a while. I know their A321, their old A321 suffers with that issue as well. So it'd be good to get an NG release of both the A319 and the A320. But then next up here, one model that Gemini Jets did get right is the American Airbus A321neo. Um, this aircraft has arrived in from Las Vegas, Nevada. And it's going to be heading out to Los Angeles in California. And then last but not least here, just getting pushed back, we have this American uh, 737-800. This aircraft is going to be heading out to Chicago. Chicago, Illinois, and it's going to be heading out to Tampa in Florida. And next here we have JetBlue's brand spanking new aircraft. This is their A220-300, um, and this aircraft is going to be heading out to Nantucket in Massachusetts. As it stands, JetBlue aren't sending these A220s to Nantucket from Washington Reagan. Uh, they currently have a hundred of these A220s on order, and these will go on to replace uh, both the Embraer E190 and the A320, the older A320s, I should say. And because of that, so these routes that are currently being operated on the Embraer E190 will eventually be operated on the A220, so it's only a matter of time. And the Embraer E190s will be retired uh, from the JetBlue fleet in 2025. So in the future, we're going to see a lot more of these A220s here at Washington Reagan. After that, here we have this JetBlue Airbus A320. This aircraft is going to be heading out to Orlando in Florida. And next up here, we have this Alaska Boeing 737-800. This aircraft is going to be heading out to Portland in Oregon. Next up, moving over to Delta. Here we have this Delta Connection Embraer E170. Uh, this aircraft is going to be heading out to Madison in Wisconsin. Then next up here, we have this Delta Airbus A321. This aircraft is going to be heading out to Atlanta in Georgia. And last here for Delta, we have this brand new Delta Connection CRJ-900. This aircraft is going to be heading out to Raleigh, Durham in North Carolina. And next up here, we have this United Boeing 757-300. It's really exciting to see a 757 here at Reagan, let alone the Dash 300 variant of this aircraft. We used to get these quite a while ago um, before the pandemic, but recently United have started flying um, some 753s uh, back into Reagan from primarily Denver in Colorado. So that's where this aircraft is going to be heading out to. But the 757-300 is quite a rare aircraft. Only 55 were built and it was essentially built as a sort of replacement to the 767-200, although it's not a direct replacement, um, but a lot of airlines uh, viewed it as a replacement for the aircraft. Currently only four airlines operate this type of aircraft. United are the primary operator with 21 in service. Uh, they have a further 40 of the 200 uh, variant in service as well. Um, Delta are the second largest operator with 16 in service. So that's the two largest operators being uh, US carriers. Um, after that, 
you then have Condor from uh, Germany. They are a low cost um, German airline um, and they currently have nine of these in service. However, Condor are currently undergoing a huge fleet uh, regeneration uh, program and they've replaced their 767s with the new A330 Neos and soon they will be replacing both of these 757s and their older um, CO uh, variants of the A320s uh, with the A321 Neos. Um, so unfortunately the Condor 753s are going to be retired uh, next year in 20. 2025 and then last but not least Iceland Air still have two of these 753s in service however those will also be retired alongside the Dash 200 variant of the 757 in 2027 when they will be replaced with the A321 LR and XLR but yeah it's really cool to see this 753 here at Washington Reagan again hopefully United um, operate these into Reagan for quite a while into the future uh, but yeah it's going to be heading out to Denver Colorado next up here we have this United Boeing 737-900ER. This aircraft is going to be heading out to Chicago O'Hare in Illinois. And last but not least, here we have this United Airbus A319. This aircraft is going to be heading out to Houston in Texas. Moving over to the low-cost carriers, here we have the Southwest Airlines Boeing 737-700. This aircraft is going to be heading out to New Orleans in Louisiana. And then last for Southwest, we have this Southwest Boeing 737-700 in the Florida One color scheme. This aircraft is going to be heading out to Omaha in Nebraska. And last but not least for today's updates, we have this Air Canada Express CRJ-900. This aircraft is going to be heading out to Toronto in Canada. And so with that, I hope you enjoyed today's update. There's not really a ton to go over. So with that, I want to thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye.